What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you what's the reaction between copper 2 sulfate and copper 2 sulfate and potassium carbonate. Potassium carbonate. So the reaction is going to be double displacement reaction. So we have Cu react with CO3, which is the carbonate. So CuCO3, the charge for copper is 2 and the charge for carbonate is 2 as well. So that's why we don't write anything else in here, 2 and 2. And here we have potassium and SO4. Potassium is plus 1 and SO4 is negative 2. So it's going to be K. 2SO4 because the two sits here and one is gonna sit here. So now let's see how to balance it. Potassium in the product side is 2, in the reactant side is 2, Cu is 1, Cu is 1, SO4 is 1, SO4 is 1, CO3, CO3 is 1 as well. This one I'm gonna call it copper 2 carbonate and here we have potassium sulfate so that's how we balance it it's already balanced for one mole of copper to sulfate we need one mole of potassium carbonate in order to have stoichiometric relations thank you for watching and have a great day